the unfused tool is the counterpart to the fuse tool. It turns fillets or bevel-like surfaces into chamfers. To do the same by hand, you would have to select all rail edges of a bevel or fuse surface, and dissolve them. The unfused tool in comparison, works on face selections, specifically a poly strip, going across the bevel. Now, in a simple case like this, the poly strip going across the bevel, will cover the entirety of the bevel. This is an exception and in all other cases, the unfuse selection will not cover all of the bevel's faces. Once selected, bring up the mesh machine menu and choose unfuse, or alternatively, press the D key. With the tool active, you can press the S key, to toggle the marking of sharp edges at the rail borders of the chamfer. You can press B to do the same with bevel weights. And if enabled, you can alt scroll to change the weight. This is useful if you have a bevel modifier on the object, perhaps if you are working with hard ops. Anyway, sharps are not needed here, as all the faces are flat shaded. The faces of this next object are smooth shaded however, and auto smooth is turned on, so sharps are taken into account. You can see the difference the chamfer sharps make. Keep in mind, that selections for the unfuse tool cannot be cyclic. A warning will appear, if you try to unfuse this. This doesn't mean that cyclic bevels can't be unfused however. That's working just as expected. This is not a selection going across a real bevel, but in terms of topology it's the same to mesh machine. And so, you can unfuse this as well. Partially fused chamfers are no problem. And neither are flat chamfers like this one. It doesn't matter where on the bevel you select across, but it tends to be easier on the longer stretches. The bevels here were created using the bevel tool, while three edges were coming together in each corner, thus creating triangular bevel corners. Bevels like these can't be unfused. Triangular bevel corners always have three corners. They can also have a triangular face in the center, but don't have two. Mesh Machine provides a special tool to convert triangular corners into quad corners. Check out the documentation for the quad corner tool. Unfuse does intentionally not convert the corners automatically, because there are three different ways to solve this, and that choice should be made by you. You can see how this bevel is not self-contained, it doesn't just end. Instead the topology spreads out into two more bevels. If you want to take full advantage of the fuse and unfuse tools, you should avoid creating bevels like these in the first place. To do so, avoid beveling three edges, that run into the same corner, at the same time. The change width, fuse and unfuse tools, used in combination, allow you to work with mesh bevels in a pseudo-non-destructive way, that isn't really possible otherwise. This should be especially useful if you are blocking out designs and want to then turn them into more refined models afterwards, and this is also what my motivation was initially, when I created Mesh Machine. Of course these tools will also just generally be very handy in a variety of modeling scenarios.